so I am really excited to report that I am waiting in the parking lot at the skating rink. Oh, yay. I waited a really long time for the skating rinks to open, and I have to tell you the experience was not what I expected. Social distancing. You could feel the energy of your friends, the ones that you missed. Some were excited, some were nervous. Regardless, we were all there celebrating the opening of the rink. So after a really long wait, the rink finally opened, and yesterday was my first time skating after months and months of waiting. Being there, it seemed uh, uh, a little more controlled and um, indifferent, for sure. They remodeled and it looked great. Um, walking in there, there was new carpet, they put new uh, benches in, uh, they repainted. Uh, the colors that they chose just look incredible, they look so modern. Um, it was great seeing all those faces, you know, all the people there that I miss so much. And, um, and you know, you can just tell uh, we've all been through a lot. Um, but regardless of what we're going through, um, we were there uh, just enjoying our time. And, and it was great. It was so, I felt so um, great. It felt so great to see everybody again. So I ended up waiting um quite a while for the rink to open. You know, I didn't mind. I just sat there with my headphones on and played my music and, you know, did run into some people that, um, you know, that I knew that I haven't seen in a long time. So we said hello and um, didn't really do a whole lot of catching up. I'm, you know, I usually have my headphones on and uh, trying to talk in the rink over music can be a difficult thing. So um, if you've ever been, if you know, if you watch my YouTube videos and we're at the rink and you know you've tried to have a conversation with me, um, I just want to apologize in advance that if uh, if I seem quiet, um, talking with the loud music is uh, something that I that's kind of hard for me to do. Um, but you know, I still love ya. The experience at the rink was uh, was way different. Um, wearing the masks, we had to wear masks. And um, you know, when I'm skating, when anybody's skating, it does get hot in there and people sweat and you know, you're trying to breathe and you're breathing a little bit heavier and you have this mask on. And it's just, it's so hard to, to skate. Um, it, it really, it felt um, that it just automatically, uh, you know, made the energy automatically dense. Um, you can even feel it. People just felt um, like they were, that they weren't themselves, that they couldn't really be themselves. Um, even, um, you know, and one, one thing that, you know, people have this thing about control, but when you're at the rink, music is really a, a huge thing. Um, the music that was playing on my headphones, I, you know, was really difficult to relate to. I think it's because the mood that was there. Um, and um, and the music at the rink was a little hard to relate to as well. Uh, when you're expressing yourself through skating, um, it, for some people, at least for me, um, music is such a huge factor in, in skating. Uh, somebody else actually last night, she agreed. She's like, oh, you know, like we need, you know, what kind of music we need, you know, good upbeat music. You can just tell that a lot of the people who were there just wanted to live their life. Um, they weren't really concerned with, uh, you know, um, it, of course we're considerate, but we weren't concerned. If that makes any sense, we would rather live than, um, you know, than just be afraid. Uh, a lot of the people who go to the rink anyway in general are really just energetic and, and love to live and just kind of go out there, socialize, have fun. They don't, you know, they don't, um, and you know, I know that there are people out in, you know, out in the world who are a little, concerned with 
everything that is going on and you know they believe everybody should wear masks but it, depending on the environment that you put yourself in like at the rink I can say that there were a lot of people who just didn't care they wanted to skate they wanted to they wanted to be able to breathe they wanted to be able to see each other's smiles you know I missed all of those I missed everybody's smile uh, that just brings such a, a warm tender feeling to your heart when you can smile at somebody and you can hug them and you have you know because you haven't you've isolated yourself for a really long time what's the first thing you want to do when you see people that you love and and that you miss you want to hug them and say oh i missed you and i'm so happy to see you and that 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 almost brought me to tears um yesterday at the rink because you know you miss these people so much and all you want to do is hug them but then you want to be considerate and not touch them because you don't know if they're afraid of what is going on. You don't know if they're, you know, uh, don't want you to touch them. And that can be such a hard thing. It, like it's, it was kind of, it was kind of an emotional night. Um, but even throughout it all, you know, you just, you already know, like regardless, you just love them no matter what. You respect them no matter what. And uh, you, you're having a good time no matter what. Uh, that was one of the best things that I loved about the rink. My muscles. <laughs> have completely changed uh, after not skating for months uh, and being on my bike most of the time um, there were muscles that uh, that um, that got much stronger uh, when you know during bike riding and go, getting back on my skates I could tell that certain muscles weren't worked um, there's a lot I mean I have to it feels like I have to start from scratch again from doing uh, certain things that I that I started you know I worked really hard doing I spent a lot of time um, uh, practicing certain uh, skating skills and uh, now it feels like I need to start all over again from scratch and it's kind of a bummer. Uh, living 45 minutes away really is going to change uh, how often I do skate. So um, hiking and, you know, and, and thinking of a whole new workout routine, I could probably, you know, get to the rink at least once a week. Um, but really that's not, I, I don't feel like that would be enough uh, as far as what it is that I want to continue practicing uh, as far as skating. Um, I'm open to, uh, you know, to, to try new things, uh, to invest more time in uh, hiking since I, you know, started doing that. And then getting, you know, some yoga done. I There's a lot here at my mom's that, that is something that I'm not used to. I would always have a space to do yoga. And... Um, you know that's not what they do here in this house they don't do yoga so there's really no space to do yoga um so uh, eventually um you know my mom she wants to move things around for her for herself because they can convert this garage they have exercise equipment um they have a matted floor so they can use this garage as a place to work out for for everybody to use here in this home uh, you know for healthier habits uh, and I'm excited for that project to get in motion. There are a lot of questions that I was asking myself um, as far as, you know, what it is that we're, um, so many things that we have um, missed out on, um, missed out on spending time with family, distancing ourselves. Uh, it's really sad how, um, how a fear factor can be, um, such a barrier between having relationships and continuing friendships and hugging people and spending time with the people that you love. Um, you know, we want to respect that fear, um, but you know, you really miss out on a lot. You miss out a, a lot on living your life. Um, so the rink was a little emotional and last night, you know, last night I stayed up kind of late uh, driving home. Um, it didn't take 45 minutes to get home. It took about 35 minutes to get home. Just, there was no traffic. So, um, uh, you know, it was kind of a late night for me and uh, waking up this morning was a little different, you know, I mean, just, you know, waiting a long time for the rink to open and it being... Um, not how I remember, but you know, we always know, we always know that things change, things are, you know, um, but this is just a, this has made such a huge impact on the world and, and where it's going and hopefully, um, hopefully things will change soon, uh, just because, um, the environment that, that, uh, that we're in, you know, at the rink can be, um, something, uh, 
difficult to adjust to. Some people don't even want to adjust to that type of reality where, you know, you're wearing masks, even though it's totally um, unnecessary for, you know, or difficult for you to, to wear a mask while you're working out and breathing heavy and, you know, trying to smile and enjoy yourself. Uh, that mask can, can, can put on um, a lot of pressure as far as um, having fun and enjoying your life. It's like, you know, um, that's really a lot to think about. I, I had to ask myself a lot of questions, la you know, last night at the rink. Uh, where is this going? You know, what am I doing? Is this, is this necessary? Is this something that I can change? Is this something that I want to change? Is this something, is this something that I want in my reality, in my future? And the answer I, I could say for myself personally is no. Um, you know, I, I don't want to social distance. I want to respect those who want to social distance. Uh, there's got to be a barrier. There's got to be some kind of balance, and not barrier, but balance in between um, the, the way of living. We're all sharing this earth. You know, some people, uh, and I can even tell the vibes there at the rink, people didn't care about wearing the masks. They just wanted to enjoy themselves. If you're afraid to go to the rink, don't go. You know, don't, if people, you know, I mean, I, it's just, there's got to be some kind of balance. I feel like it, like there's there's far more control in one area, um, or uh, manipulation maybe, uh, you know, or um, all different kinds of things that I you know sat back and I had to reflect and 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 really just try to understand exactly what is going on. These are deep questions that. A lot of people may ask themselves, and um, a lot of people get offended uh, by my opinions. Um, but you know, we are sharing the earth. There's got to be some kind of balance here, and uh, you know, staying healthy, um, making healthy choices, can make a huge difference in uh, in how we protect ourselves. I admit that I wasn't really sure about making a video just because of the way um, that I've been feeling. This is just, this is a different kind of feeling. Um, I'm, you know, beginning to ask myself a lot of big, huge questions. And um, there is pressure to, you know, on people to, to hurry up and make a decision. Uh, but... I, I step back and I'm like, you know what, no, this isn't the time to just jump in and make a decision, especially when there are others around you who are altering your your life um, and the way that, that you want to live. So with all of that being said, there's a lot of reflecting. Today's going to be a reflecting day. Uh, probably, you know, just put some more time into uh, my art uh, and my imagination. Um... I debated on going on a bike ride, but as you can see, this grass really needs to be mowed. Um, I'm happy to do that. Today's a good day for that. Uh, hope everybody's doing okay and take care. And please don't get offended by my opinion on, on the masks and these changes. Uh, I understand there are a lot of people who are afraid of the, of the virus. They're afraid of um, the world around them, they're, they're afraid of the changes, they're afraid of what it could do to their family members and what it is doing to their family members. I, I'm not throwing that out the window whatsoever. Um, you know, I'm, I'm praying for you guys and, and um, for, you know, and, and hopefully, you know, we can all share the, the prayer. I mean, there are a lot of people right now who are limiting their lives for the respect of others and, and this, and, and they're not happy anymore with that. They're not happy, you know, altering their entire life. Um, and this can be really hard. They, they feel like they can't live their life anymore because of this. Uh, but on the other hand, maybe it's a, a good time for us to start finding new ways of living and finding new ways to enjoy the world, um, and enjoy the world and just, you know, Find new things to do. Find new things to love. And that could that could even guide us onto a new path. So there are so many different perspectives and different ways of looking at all of this. Um, but stay healthy. You know, take care of yourself. Drink your water. Um, 
you know, we have this, this season coming in, you know, where people get sniffles a little bit more than usual. Um, you know, take your walks, even though you don't want to, you know, take them, they, they, they will make you feel good. Um, call your friends, say hello, tell people you love them. Um, we're all in this together. We're all going to work this out. We're all going to balance this out. Um, you're in our thoughts and prayers. You're in my thoughts and prayers. Always take care of yourself. Bye.